All right, good evening. This is November 8th, Sierra Elf November. Um, there's lots of videos out there about the ARS USB uh, rotor controller uh, operation and that sort of thing, but not many on connection and wiring. I utilize a uh, HAM4 controller, and myself as a visual learner, I, I, sometimes even just a manual, I need to see things. Pretty simple in here. Control left, this is the brake release. Control right, and you only use the, uh, you don't use the first terminal on each one. You use the second, the middle, which would be the common, and then the normally <clears throat> open one. So as it activates, it turns those on. I use the Limo connector that I put in the back of my controller here. And really what I did was uh, you see these these wires here flip underneath and I just tapped in the center switch here is the brake actually what this does is actually it, it powers the main transformer which does two things it activates the brake release and then gives power to left or right, depending on which one you connect to. So you can see I soldered in two, two wires to the left and right switch. And those correspond to the left and the right relay box. Really, that was actually pretty straightforward. <clears throat> in here, for the left and right, I just tapped into pin five pin five here, and then pin six, one over. The real difficult part for me was getting the azimuth readout to be stable. Every time I hit the brake release, what would happen was the azimuth would jump all around. It may go from 100 degrees to full, full scale, 360, and, not, and then of course that's obviously not correct. So even though I have connected to pin one and pin three, which those coincide to J4, three and four, those go to pin one, and J4, five, here goes to pin three. This one here, pin one, and come on, focus, pin three. But again, you can see, I have another video up, if you just go back in time, you'll see it jump around. And talking to Pablo about it, the brake release um, inverter or, or power supply or whatever you want to call it, sorry, coming up with words tonight, creates so much interference on that signal that the digital the digital readout on the control box just couldn't handle it. So you recommended uh, coax and that's actually used some some pretty good what I thought was pretty good uh, shielded cable that didn't work so I just used coax just as he recommended and that was totally fine. This the wiring here was not the issue I actually tried that to see if that was the problem into here through the limo connector but that wasn't it it was it was all the way out to the to the rotor itself so for pin one and pin three from the control box out to the rotor itself we'll have two cape two connect just these two conductor uh, coax just rv6 just stuff i had laying around um, I'm going to connect the elevation tomorrow, hopefully, and then this will be ready. But like I said, I wanted to show how I did it, if that helps anybody. No, and again, this is the uh, some connection for the ARS USB. November 8th, Sierra Alpha November, 73.